Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So this week on Orphan Black, we got to meet a brand new clone. We got to learn a lot more about Sarah's life pre-season one, and the Helena Perlethian plot just got really, really disturbing. I would, however, like to dedicate this video to the memory of Ainsley. So if you're finding me for the first time, I'm doing videos each week for Orphan Black season two. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. I know a lot of you in international countries sometimes have to wait to watch the episode, so don't worry, these will always be here. So let's break a leg and talk about our top five moments. Careful for spoilers from episode three if you haven't seen it yet, but here we go. Number five, Art finds the Prolethians. It seems like every time Art and Angela have a scene together, she invokes Beth. She's just trying to guilt him into resuming the mystery of the clones, and it looks like she was successful. I'm really hoping that he ends up saving Helena. And because Gracie seems like she's the only Prolethian on the inside that's not, you know, 100% down with making Helena the new sister wife, I'm hoping that she ends up helping Art. Number four, Allison falls off the stage. Poor Blood Ties was doomed before it ever began. Watch that first step, it's a drop. I love how thematically the plot of the play works so well with Allison's real life, you know, Ainsley clone club drama. No surprise that she shotgunned a lot of pills and booze beforehand. Let me know if you actually thought that she was gonna react like that on stage or if you thought she would just, you know, pull some great performance out of her butt. Tatiana Maslany in real life, if she had been performing that say like on Broadway, probably would've just pulled something out of her butt and won an Emmy. That's how amazing she is. It's so surreal watching Allison. It's an actor, Tatiana Maslany, performing a character, Allison, who's performing a play, Blood Ties. And even though Allison was supposed to collapse under the pressure, the whole thing was just amazing. We seriously need to make sure that Tatiana Maslany wins the Emmy this year. Number three, meet your new clone, Jennifer. The body horror that was going on with the Cosima Delphine story this week was so hard to watch. Did you notice the way that she reacted whenever they were dissecting Jennifer? You know, after all the tapes and surgery, it was like she had to watch her own slow, gruesome death. It's a real testament to how disturbing it was that the show just does an amazing job of putting you in her perspective. Who else laughed just a little bit whenever she told Delphine not to be a bitch and just tell her the truth? Even though the whole moment was just very somber, it was a very depressing moment because they had been watching Jennifer wither away in front of them. In case you missed it too, they identified that the autoimmune disease that was affecting Jennifer as well as Katya essentially started in the uterus. So any of the clones that are infertile right now potentially have this same issue that's going to be happening very, very soon to them. That includes Rachel, Cosima, and we're not quite sure about Helena yet, but because of the interesting nature of her biology, I think we can assume that she's probably fertile. Jennifer was the first clone to exhibit symptoms of this autoimmune disease, and in the timeline of the episode, she basically died three days ago. Number two, the Prolethians force Helena to marry Henrik. The show hasn't been super clear on the technicalities of Prolethian marriage, but I bet that Henrik has been bound to multiple women. And in an episode where we had to watch Jennifer degenerate and then get dissected on a table, I feel like this Helena plot was way more disturbing. Did anyone else scream at their TV whenever he was carrying her down that hallway? I really hope that Gracie ends up helping her out because, you know, even if it's not altruistic, I feel like any kind of help would be a blessing. Speaking of which, it seemed like based on Henrik's instruments in the War of Creation speech, the Prolethians will be the crazy group this season that will just escalate things out of control. I feel like it's easier to trust someone like Leaky because he's operating from a place of pure science, which is all about reliability and precision. You know, he's very evil, but you can predict what he might do because he's coming from a place of logic. The Prolethians, on the other hand, seem like they just twist any situation to meet their needs, you know, and as long as it's in God's name, anything goes. It seems like they're gonna be starting some fires this season, so keep your eyes peeled on them. And my number one moment, meet Cal, your dad. Did anyone else have that moment when you first saw him that you just thought of Dario from Game of Thrones? Once he and Sarah started to work through their relationship and the WTF reveal of Kira being his daughter, I really did enjoy his character though. It's a little strange hearing him with an American accent, but I can't wait to see where his story goes. I'm guessing he'll just stay part of that Sarah plot, but every once in a while different clone stories will overlap, so we could get some Cal Allison scenes or some Cal Cosima depending on where the season goes. I know Sarah really wants him to rub off on Kira, and I feel like that's gonna happen. It seems like Kira is just like a sponge. She just absorbs everyone around her. She's just so intuitive. She's almost like a, you know, a fully grown adult in a little child's body. Did anyone else expect him to be a dead shot with that rifle though and just kill Daniel? You know, until the whole car crash thing, I kind of thought her story would get folded into Cosima's back at the lab. We did see a bunch of Mrs. S scenes in the teaser for episode four, so I wonder if it was her that crashed into that car. But now it's your turn. Let me know below in the comments, what was your favorite moment and who is your favorite clone this week? It's kind of hard to pick between moments. You know, obviously meeting Cal, meeting Kira's father is just a huge deal. And what's happening to Helen is just so horrible. But I will say that my favorite clone this week was definitely Jennifer. 
Overall, I gave the episode an A- for doing such a good job of introducing this new Cal wrinkle into the plot, as well as the new character Jennifer. I don't know how many episodes Cal's going to be in, but I really hope he survives to season 3. The really good thing about Orphan Black and his other show, Game of Thrones, is that they don't shoot at the same time, so even though he was upgraded to a cast regular for season 5 of Game of Thrones, he can still film episodes of Orphan Black season 3 if it ends up getting renewed. Speaking of actors though, I feel like we're all in agreement that Tatiana Maslany is a goddess on this show, but every time she introduces a new clone or a new character, I'm always just amazed by what she brings to the table. Just all the different nuances and ticks that all the clones have is just mind-boggling. It's so amazing that she can juggle all these things in her head. I feel like if you asked her to, she could just sit in a room and do all the clones having a conversation with themselves, you know, just seamlessly jumping in and out of different characters, like a one-person clone club stage play, blood tie style. Allison should take some notes. Because of the subplots in each of these new episodes has kept me so engaged, I've actually started to kind of forget a little bit about the overplot, you know, the Project Lita mystery, as well as the endgame of the Prolethians and what's going on with Leaky. It really is just a testament to the show that it can get so complex and stay so interesting without getting out of control. But at this point, are we even sure we know what the Prolethians would do with another Kira if Helena could really get pregnant? We know that Leaky is trying to patent human DNA, you know, they're just a mega corporation trying to get rich. Even if the Prolethians don't care about money, it seems like their end result will end up being the same though. Just a bunch of homogenized humans made in whatever they consider to be their perfect image. I wonder if in that scenario, everyone on the planet would just get married to each other in one big creepy binding ceremony. Ugh, yikes. But let me know what your final thoughts are on the episode, as well as the new Cal character. I really can't wait to see where they take that, so it's going to be really interesting. My next Orphan Black video will post after episode 4 is, be sure to subscribe to get it. Tomorrow will be all about Game of Thrones as per usual. So right now, click here to get last week's video for Orphan Black and click here to catch up on Game of Thrones. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. High fives.